this is Ronnie and welcome to my channel plus welcome to the Saturday stash dive today I am diving into Jennifer Rollis's stash she sent me all those goodies you've seen there and I picked these two papers out I'm only going to use one but I put the uh, other one out just in case I couldn't find anything to go with it and couldn't Think of enough stuff to do with it that I could use that some way, somehow, because it goes so good with the other one on my layout. But I managed to think of stuff without it. So I still have that in my stash, or Jennifer's stash. Well, my stash, she sent it to me for Christmas. But I'm going to do a few Saturdays just diving into her stuff because it is a stash, but it's just a lot newer to me than what the stuff I have here is. But it really tickled me when it came, and I couldn't wait till Christmas. I had to go ahead and open it and dig right in by doing the layout. So thank you very much, Jennifer. I am enjoying it already. I cut this diagonally striped paper uh, for a mat for my photo. And it's that pink striped that uh, I showed you all before in different layouts. I'm not sure how much I've actually used it. I think I'm still working on the same piece of paper. But I still love it. And since this is all pink, even Santa's outfit's pink, it goes really good with it. I'm going to use that uh, scallop border punch. And I'm going to punch a piece of this striped paper out. And a piece of vellum. vellum. <laughs> And also, I'm going to use another punch to do another piece of vellum. And I'm going to layer them under the picture. And there I was just measuring to see which end I needed to do that from. And I decided to do it from the longer end, just so that if I needed to trim an edge to match the other one, that it would be easier to line it up and trim it. So I did use the longer one. The other one just barely fit. And... I'm not going to cut it very wide, just enough to be able to glue it onto the back. And I almost glued it in the wrong place. <laughs> I lined it up with the top part, wasn't even paying attention. I was watching YouTube on the TV while I was doing this. And I caught it really quick, so I just moved it down. And it did go to the bottom instead of the top. <laughs> what a relief that was. But here's the other border punch, and it is a Martha Stewart one. Where that first one, I'm thinking it's EK Success, maybe. It's got orange on it, so it may be Fiskars. I'm not sure, but it it was a... When I went looking for a scallop one, I think it was the first one I seen. But they're all pretty much alike. See, so far, I have not used that snowflake piece, piece of paper. I really like it. It's ombre look, and it's snowflakes, and I thought I really would like it for a background. And I'd rather not use it unless, unless I couldn't figure something else out. So I'm doing pretty good figuring other things out. And that, that this paper is so cute. And you know, I bought a lot of papers, you know, where they're already decorated down in the corner. And for a long time there, they would sit in my stash because I think, how am I going to decorate it? And I wasn't exactly sure what to do each time. So I just let them sit there for a good while. And then after a few years, years, mind you, <laughs> I, I finally decided to tackle it. So I have done quite a few of them now. And I still have some older ones in my stash. And I still plan on scrapping with them because I still look at them and like them. But I do <laughs> a much better job of scrapping with them than I used to. And it was the first one I pulled out of that stack of papers. Yeah. I fell in love with it as soon as I saw it. And I had this picture planned for today, for the Saturday stash dive, of her two older sisters on Santa's lap. And I've had it planned to scrap that several times this year. And I haven't got it done yet. And it was still in the plastic bag with my department number on it, where they had taken it at our Christmas party. And... I had never done anything with it after all this time. But uh, it's still sitting there because I decided to use this one. I wanted something with more pink and the walls was mauve colored. And her pants, they're not really a bright red. And so I thought I'd go better with this Santa. So I took 
this picture and, and printed it and decided to use it instead. She's at her daddy's Christmas party at his boss's house and she just learning to walk. She was doing, you know, a few steps here and there, but mostly she was holding on to things. Anyway, she seen that reindeer there in the corner and she was headed for it. But she got busted before she made it there. And it made a cute picture, too. So, yeah, I'm scrapping it. I'm going to try to put her picture as close to Santa without crowding him. Because although she's facing forward and not to the left or right, her body's facing the left. So I want to make sure that there's a space there. So it's going to be pretty much in the middle of the page by the time I get it adhered down. And here I decide what am I going to put there with this because that one piece is sticking out and it looks kind of strange just sticking out there like that. So I decided to make a gift and put it there. And I'm using the striped paper. And my original plan was to have the um, diagonal stripes going in the same direction. But looking at it there, you can tell that the picture is going the opposite of the one that's below there, which wasn't on purpose. <laughs> so I'm going to have the gift to do the same thing. And then I'm going to have the lid the opposite way. I figure if it's going to look all mixed up, it's going to look like it's done on purpose. Or I really wasn't paying attention at all. So yeah, it's, the lid is going to go to the other way. And I won't decide for a minute that it's going to have a lid. I'm making the bow right now. I'm using my little cuddle bug. And I've got like two bows that I've got in the drawer right next to me that I just use here and there because they're small. And this one's the bigger of the two. And I'm cutting it out in white and the vellum. And I'm going to layer them on there. I'm going to offset the vellum one just a little bit. I don't want it laying exactly on top of the white. But I wanted the white there so that it'd show up just a little bit better. And here's where I decided to make this part into the lid. I thought, well, I've already got it glued down. I'll just cut it off and make it into a lid. So that's what I do. And there was another piece laying over there that was small. And it just a little bit smaller than that. So it worked pretty good for the lid. And I'm going to cut. You see the doily there? I'm not going to notice it until I get in here to do the voiceover. But there's just a tiny bit of the doily showing not enough hardly to count and it's down on the bottom and so i'm going to cut that off just so you all know you would have thought i would have noticed it when i was putting the title down because the title's right there where it's at but i didn't notice it so yeah i am going to cut it off after i get done with this video uh i'm using my t-square ruler to try to get the picture straight and i just adhered the doily down by putting the adhesive on the paper that way I went in the rant didn't run it across the doily because there is times I've tore it doing that the gift is going to go up on foam tape and then I'm going to start scattering those hearts that's over there to the right that I cut out earlier around the page and I am not sure where they came from I've got them all together and some came one place and some another and those smaller ones, they're really neat if I could get the hang of using them. They cut out and then you send them through the part to get them embossed. And one has like little plus signs all over it. And another one has the word love. And I can't remember what the others have. But I haven't got the hang of that yet. So uh, they are not going to have those today. They are just going to go down looking like hearts. I am putting like a little drop of glue on each one of those hearts on there. And then I'm taking my finger and wiping most of it off. Because if it's smooth back there instead of like a drop, when it dries, you can't even tell it's there. And all I'm doing is smoothing that. Kind of like the Xyron, if you use it with vellum, it covers the whole thing so you don't notice it. Basically, it's about the same way. And... I'm going to scatter all these smaller hearts around. And that one that's up there inside the bigger one right now, it's not going to stay there. I look at it two or three times and think, no, I don't like it there. And so it's going to go down there with Santa so I can embellish him a little bit. I had it planned to put some presents down there with him. 
But I guess I forgot because the present went up there by hope. And the heart's going to go down there with him. Um, but I am going to play with these for a few minutes before I decide exactly how I want them. I did consider using, see, see those um, poinsettia in the, on the paper? I did consider, I, in fact, I got the punch outs laying over there to the left. Making poinsettias with the leaf punch, because technically they're leaves. I mean, every time I ever looked at them, I thought the petals of the flower <laughs> look just like the leaves, only a different color. And then there's times that they're half green and half pink or half green and half red. So, yeah, so I was going to use my leaf punch and make some um, poinsettias, but then I got the idea to use the hearts, and I guess I just decided not to do the poinsettias. I, those two, I just went ahead and put glue on the bottom and didn't bother spreading it around with my finger since it was going to be out of sight, but I did have to spread it around on that one. And, of course, I put it down, and it wasn't the same way I had it. And I couldn't remember exactly how I had it. So I'm sitting there messing with it and moving it here and there. And I don't know how well it's going to stick since that is glitter paper. It might be laying on the floor tomorrow. And I think I'm about done. Oh, no, I'm not quite done. I am going to put some splattering on here. And I will be showing you. Oh, I forgot this part. I pulled out some pearls, flat back pearls, and some rhinestones, which I have not used in a long time. But I am going to put flat back pearls on here. And the reason is, is I like the rhinestones, but the flat back pearls was, well, the, I, I'm trying to think of the word, pearlized. They're pearlized. And so they're a light pink and they kind of, you know, look like pearls because, you know, technically that's what they're supposed to be. And I thought they went a lot better with the layout. So I'm going to use them like enamel dots and just scatter them on here. And then I am going to pull out my Heidi Swap Color Shine and I'm going to sprinkle it on here. And I do have the white and the primrose, but I'm not going to use the white. Once I get the primrose down, I think, oh, I like it the way it is. So I don't put any of the white on there. But, <laughs> you, you know, usually you put this on last. <laughs> and I was thinking I was done. And uh, I, while I was sprinkling this on here, you know, and thinking about, I realized I didn't have my title on here yet. And these match that paper so well. And they're glittered also that I wanted to make sure I used them on the layout. So my title's going to be Santa. I can't explain since, you know, she was trying to make it to that reindeer in the back. He's just her size. I mean, it'd be perfect for her to ride if she could have got away with it. But that's it. I am done with my layout. But I want to thank Jennifer again for all the goodies that she sent me. I am going to have so much fun. <laughs> But this is my first layout with it. And um, I want to thank you all for watching and for the wonderful comments that you put below. And if you want to, if you like the video and hit a thumbs up, I'd appreciate that too. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, I'd love to have you subscribe. But uh, yeah, that's it. Oh, no, no, no. Of course, I'm not done. <laughs> <laughs> I I seen a couple asterisks laying on that uh piece of the the sticker paper and I thought I could put a few of those on there so yeah I put a few of them on there and really I am done except for cutting off see that little bit of doily hanging there I'm going to cut that off just so y'all know when I cut that heart there out I tried it twice threw one away and the second time I put two pieces of cardstock there for a shim there's still stuff that didn't cut. So I had to fussy cut all those intricate pieces out to be able to use it on this layout. And that did take me a while. But I had the camera off. So y'all didn't have to watch it. But there's the pink Santa. And isn't he adorable? <laughs> I think he is just so cute. That's what sold me on using this piece of paper first. And I think I picked the best picture I had to go with it too. But... Thank you all again for watching, and thank you again, Jennifer. 
But I hope y'all have a happy, scrappy week. Bye.